Hello guys and thanks for coming back to see my channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can register your EOS tokens before the snapshot in May so you don't lose your coins when the new EOS network is ready to use. Disclaimer here, please don't keep me accountable if something goes wrong with the registration afterwards. I follow internet guidances from others so I'm willing to take the risk if something goes wrong with my coins. I know many people are using Ledger Nano S as a storage option for the tokens, so do I. I will show you my balances of the tokens before we start so you can make sure I'm actually registering my tokens. I will advise you to make a special account for the EOS tokens because after the snapshot they will freeze them so wherever you keep them they will stay there forever. The absolute minimum for Ethereum is 0.01 and that's what I did as well. I am having that balance and my tokens in one address together. So let's right now start with the tools we gonna need. We need to have a EOS key generator. We need to generate public and private keys on the actual EOS network. There is a handy tool at GitHub made by one dev. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name but I'll put the links in the description below. What you need to do is simple, press the generate key link and copy and paste the public and the private keys. Make sure you have more than one copy of them because there will be the only option to claim your coins after the snapshot. Now we can go back and start the process. We are again inside the my Ethereum wallet and we need to find the contracts at the top of the page. Make sure you select the existing contract called EOS contribution and then press access. Once that you are ready, you will find the instructions how to map your EOS keys to the contract. Make sure you read all of the info available before you register the keys. I don't want to be kept accountable if something goes wrong with your claiming process. What I did was simple. I chose the register option in the drop down menu. From there I place the public key at the key string empty field. I paste the public address from the GitHub generator we opened a minute ago. Make sure you place your public key, not the private key. The difference is gonna be is your pu public key is gonna start with the EOS in the beginning. From there you need to choose the Ledger Nano S option and then to connect to Ledger Wallet. Choose the address you keep your EOS tokens inside. In my case that's the address specially made for the occasion. This window you make sure the amount you sent is set to zero and the gas limit is more than 90,000. Press the generate transaction and confirm on your device. And here we gonna need one more confirmation and everything is done. Once that you receive the green bar on the bottom of the page, the transaction is broadcasted to the network. So let me show how we can easily check if we made the right thing. Log into your address with the EOS tokens and then copy the public key or just press the exported link in the wallet. And once that we are inside the exporter, we can browse the last transaction and press the text hash. From there we just need to find the input data and just press the convert on the bottom, this button here. Once that we press, we're gonna verify that this one is your our public key from the GitHub webpage. As long as we know right now, we successfully register our public EOS key from the GitHub webpage. And that's about it guys, I hope you enjoy my videos, check out my other videos for more topic related tips. Please share, subscribe and see you next time.